Hey, good morning, everybody. Uh, if you're just tuning in, um, I had an A lift with posterior instrument instrumentation um, two days ago, April the 4th, on Tuesday. Today is April the 6th. Um, and I, I am still having zero pain of the back pain that was associated pre surgery. Um, I, the only pain I have is in the surgical sites. Uh, other than that, I have zero pain. Um, I'm super excited about that. I can't wait till, you know, the, the surgical sites calm down so I have no pain in that area. And then I'll be zero pain. And, and I have not had that in many, many, many years. Um, so I am, I am really excited about that. Um, that said, um, you just, I just want to be an encouragement to some others out there that are looking to see if anybody has had a surgery that they could say something positive about. And through my research, there's not a lot of that. There just isn't. Um, there's a few guys here and there. Um, but in, in my case, I'm hoping this is also another one of those few that are positive. And I uh, won't bore you with all the details. Um, just try to give you a heads up on some certain things that you need to watch for. Um, one of them is, is, look, don't be sedentary. Don't just lay around. Don't just sit there. Um, look, the, you, you've got a surgical site on the front and the back. It, just sitting around or laying around is going to be painful anyway because of you just don't have anything you can lay on or sit on You know that's not in contact with the, the surgical areas. Um, did speak to the, the uh, doctors yesterday, and they said I can lay on my side. So that was a huge relief. Um, I was still up um, 14 times last night. So, uh, you know, I, I track it with my Garmin watch. And, and um, you know, so that was a, that sucked. Um, but I, I generally don't sleep good anyway. So it's just what it is. Um, but, you know, you, you've got to get up and move around. Um, you know, this morning I got up and moved around some, get kind of, shook loose, I guess you could say. And, um, and then I went out for a walk, put another mile in. Look, it's a slow walk. Um, take it easy. Uh, it took me 39 minutes and some change. So I'm taking it real easy. Um, don't want any issues. And the last thing I want is to screw this surgery up to where the stuff doesn't fuse. Uh, the whole point of this is so that it does. Um, and then that way everything is locked up down there and there's no issues and I can have hopefully a pain-free life for hopefully for good, hopefully I'll never have to deal with this stuff again, um, but I just wanted to, you know, be an encouragement to other people out there, so you know, not everybody's having a horrible time with this, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of a rare case because they, they did do outpatient uh, for me, and that, uh, I'll be honest with you, I can't find that anywhere, I can't find that anybody's had the surgery and done it as an outpatient, it was, I was blown away that they could do that, but um, they did say it's, you know, a rare case that, you know, you have to, your doctor has to know you and know how you heal and know what you're capable of. And he's the one that, that did my hip surgery when I, I broke my, my femur at the, right up there by the hip, um, which is in one of the videos prior. So if you want to see that, go look at the, the first video and you'll see all that mess. But um, he's the same one that did that. And man, I had a amazing recovery that was last july so i've been having quite a bit of major surgeries here in less than a year so <laughs> um that said uh you know so i don't really have a lot to say other than nothing but good and i hope somebody else gets some some good positive feedback over this video or these videos in general and that you you really find a good um, surgeon that can work on you and, and not be fearful of, you know, the outcome being negative for you, like so many others that, that are on there. And, and I'm sure it has a lot to do with every person's different. Every person's got a different injury, different type and different people working on you. And so, I mean, there's so many variables in the equation that are going to make it either good or bad for you. Um, but I'm hoping that, that some people can see that look good, good does come about from it. So I'll be posting these daily. Um, you know, up to, up to day seven. And then after that, I'll probably post once every week, maybe every two weeks. And that way everybody can just kind of, kind of see what's going on. And, uh, I'm sure I'll extend them out later to make them even longer apart. Um, not a lot to say other than, man, I'm excited. I'm excited to not have to be in pain anymore. So I hope, uh, someone else out there has the same, same, uh, outcome. Anyway, see you on the next one.